It's hard to have a sibling who gets to do everything first, but it's different for the Mars rover Curiosity because its sibling, Maggie, does everything first without even leaving Earth. But do you think anyone knows about her? Nope. Curiosity is the one who gets all the attention, being the first to explore Mars, while Maggie has to do all of her roving here on Earth. And I'm gonna get to meet the scientist who's basically the queen of Mars, or at least the deputy surface lead for Mars 2020, Diana Trujillo. Wow. This is so cool. It's nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Welcome to the Mars Yard. Thank you. Hi, Maggie. How's it going? So here was Maggie whose name is an acronym for Mars Automated Giant Gizmo for Integrated Engineering. But just how did Diana manage to become the team leader of one of the most expensive robots on Earth? Did she study at an Ivy League college? Did she win a coolest job in the world contest? Or do robots just like her? So let me tell you a little bit about my story. I came to the US in 2000. I didn't have any money and I didn't know any English. So when I got here, I put myself through college. I found a way of getting the right internships, going through college and getting the right grades so that I can then apply to NASA and end up working on a Mars mission. Which to me is insane to know that I went from actually working really hard three jobs, not sleeping anything and not knowing English to actually manage a mission on the surface of Mars. Wow, that's amazing. So, what makes Maggie so special? Maggie is the exact replica of the rover that we have on the surface of Mars. The operations that we do are very complicated. And so we wanna come here to make sure that we can unstow the arm, do the drilling, do the driving that we need to do, move the head, take the images, do it exactly how you wanna do it because you're going to command it from Earth and you're gonna execute it on Mars many hours later. So you don't wanna get it wrong. So what exactly is Curiosity doing on Mars? So the mission for Curiosity really is to find out if there was the chemical composition or that will sustain life. So has Curiosity found anything yet? Well, the amazing thing is that within the first year of the mission, we found out that there was the chemical composition that will sustain life. Diana explains that Curiosity found evidence of organic molecules in three billion year old sedimentary rocks near the surface. This is not proof that there was life on Mars, just that the conditions might have been able to support life. To replicate the surface of Mars, JPL has created this area where many of the physical conditions on Mars have been recreated. Diana and her team learn how to identify and maneuver Maggie through obstacles. This information helps the scientists program Curiosity's path on Mars. And once again, Maggie's sister gets all the glory. So now can I take my selfie with Maggie? Of course, but first you have to get grounded. Wait, but. I didn't do anything wrong. Not that type of grounding. Oh, okay. What Diana means by grounded is that I have to wear a special suit that is wired to the ground to stop static electricity from jumping from my body to Maggie. No effects were used for this scene. This is actually just how long it takes for me to put on a jacket. Finally, selfie time had arrived. No Mars rovers will harm my static electricity during the taking of the selfie. 